last vlog. I know you loved it. I know you liked it. And I have a few more stories that I want to share. Let's not get some cool stories. Meanwhile, I gotta wait for the train. about him was uh, on our reach we met another YWAM team we were there visiting uh, just in the streets on our day off and we ran into another YWAM team found out they had some they had some mp3 players and I said oh is that an audio bible I said yeah I said, uh, I like just take one we got lots I was like you sure I said, yeah so why not threw it in my bag Jim. We're uh, visiting at his tent, he invites him to his home. At one point he says uh, he believes that Jesus was born under a palm tree after Mary gave birth to him. Joseph apparently wasn't there, but as Francis gave birth under this palm tree, people came to rebuke her, and Jesus just fresh out of the womb started talking back to him and shut him down. And those weren't his words exactly because it was translated, but that's my interpretation. So he said to him, Hey, do you want to hear our story? And so we shared with him from the New Testament what we believe. And uh, he's like, oh, yeah, good thing. He asked him, do you want to know? Do you want to read it for yourself? Do you want to know more? I said, sure. And it didn't click to me how this would happen until a student said, do you want a Bible? And I was just looking at him like, hmm, it'd be nice if you had a, oh, I have an audio Bible. <laughs> do you want an audio Bible? I said, yeah, that'd be great. So gave it to him right then and there, pulled it away back, and uh, gave it to him. Talked to him the other day, so he's, he's listening to it, so I'll, I'll ask him what he's learning and see where he's at. But it's just cool to, to visit this guy and hang out with him. He was a few times. Uh, Thomas and I took a taxi the other day off to go hang out with him, visit him. So it's quite a cool connection that we have. Oh, here's my bus. <laughs> We talked to this lady from, we talked to a lady in her tent, it was an all girls visit, I wasn't there, just telling you the story that I heard, what's up? So the story, uh, I guess we asked her to pray for this lady, and she said yes, I have pain in my back, and she said okay, let's pray. The students prayed, put their hands on her, and as they were praying, she started to feel a hot, cold sensation in her back, she felt heat in her feet. She had the heat feet, and then another student, one student had this vision of things, of two things coming together, like one you kind of break on top of the other, like two rectangles, kind of all coming on top of each other. She's like, you know, it's kind of weird, but okay, keep praying. And as they were praying, and then the lady, they asked her, like, do you feel better? She says, yeah, I feel a lot better. He got up, moved her back around, and was healed. And uh, sometime in there, our student realized that the picture she had the, as they were praying were the two discs coming together. So as she prayed that, uh, God put this lady's uh, unadjointed, I don't know what the word is, discs back together and healed her. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. So, that's another cool story. Amen. Praise God. Woo! Number three 
I heard from a pastor and this is what uh, said a leader in ISIS his ex-wife was in prison and there she was evangelized too she became a Christian and she herself started to evangelize to the other Christians oh this story is so powerful when I heard it she was also saying or she made a comment basically saying I'm so happy to be alive and I'm so happy that I met Jesus Christ the only the only thing I need is him in my life while she's in prison evangelizing to other Christians with her kids with her amen I think the world needs to hear more of these stories share your stories below let me know what's up see you later